Hey, welcome Big Board. Thought we'd do a quick uh, video. I did a little Facebook Live thing and then realized that if you are following this online and you're not a Facebooker, you won't get this. So, <clears throat> okay, you an empty for all the folks that follow on Facebook. You've probably seen this video before, but I will be updating uh, what the resolution to this particular problem here that we're looking at is. And uh, so if you want to hang around for that, it'll be in the last couple of minutes so you can fast forward or whatever the case may be. Uh, we'll see where that ends up in the timeline. Uh, but here we go. We went ahead and did some nuclear attacks and you can see them in the distance here. These little orange uh, markers represent nuke strikes either by artillery or SSM. And so we, and we did some air and stuff as well. So both sides got to conduct those activities in the third turn based on how the rules are written, that's when, that's the earliest that you can launch nukes. Now I'm sure you can house rule that and change it, but we didn't. So those attacks, unfortunately for the Soviets, were very impactful for one particular reason. Uh, because of the way the die rolling worked out, we lost three army headquarters. And with those army headquarters, there's the resultant loss in the electronic warfare unit as well, because that's all in the hex. Uh, problematic. Uh, now there may actually be some grounds for not losing this unit, this electronic warfare unit, based on how the rules are written. It's, if there's a unit left in the hex, then the electronic warfare unit can stay. But these guys only have one step. So that's what this does. Uh, I had these guys too far to, uh, up to the front, I guess. They should have been sitting back so that... Uh, and I, and these, these assets, this art the artillery and the, and the electronic warfare stuff, all should have been, I guess, pushed forward or attached to a specific division or divisions, as the case may be. So we kind of screwed up from a, a gameplay tactical standpoint. I, I, uh, I guess I should have been back a little bit further. But if I'm back a little bit further, it really means that I've got to break down the division and put a regiment with each one of these HQs and that's going to take a division out of the game uh, for me. So uh, I guess I got greedy and that's the price you pay. Now, there are replacements, but replacements don't come until turn 10, I think at the earliest. And the challenge we're going to have here is that we rely on these HQs for supply. And there are no, they, so that means that folks are going to have to be able to uh, trace supply without uh, the buffer of an HQ intermediary, which is going to potentially be problematic and it's also going to limit the, the movement and range of the Soviet offensive. So we, you know, we can rebuild them, right, in, in uh, seven turns. Well, actually, we can't because. I don't think the game designer or game system playtesting tested being a dumbass and putting your headquarters too far ahead of into the field, into the uh, you know forward area of battle, as the case may be. So we've kind of screwed ourselves because the rules say you can rebuild combat units and in particular divisions. So that's a bad thing. So what I think we're going to have to do here is house rule and uh, I'm going to take a division and take a full step from it and then use that step to reconstitute these headquarters and we'll limit their movement for, you know, I don't know, some period of time, probably a full turn and we'll reconstitute them back in a, you know, in the rear area where they'll be safer and uh, perhaps less, uh, less, less susceptible to being attacked by the mean evil nuclear artillery or uh, uh, just these you know surface, surface missiles and stuff so that's a little update I think we're gonna we're just gonna pay I think if we take one regiment you know a regiment is uh, three battalions which in you know, anyone's best estimate, I think, is more than enough for us to say that we can reconstitute three HQs. And so that's the price that the Soviets will pay. It's a fairly light one. We'll call it something, you know, which something that stupid that I did. Uh, it's the best way to fix it that I can think of without having to rewind the game back uh, two or three turns and, or two turns or a turn and a half. And with the 
been away from it for three weeks. I don't think that I can uh, accurate rec accurately recall where everything was. So there you go. That's what's going on. We, you know, we obviously do have other HQs on the map that we could use for supply, and that wouldn't be a problem. I think to keep the game flowing, though, we should uh, put these HQs back on the map, and we'll kind of go forward from there. All right, so I thought I'd give you guys an update. We'll pop this up on YouTube and talk to you guys later on. All the very best.